Okay, so you got your deer down. Congratulations. Now what do you do? You have to field dress your deer or gut it. The goal of gutting is to take all of the organs out to not spoil the meat. You're going to have to take out the stomach, the intestines, the liver, the heart, and the lungs. How you start doing this is you're going to have to find just below the brisket where the sternum ends. The sternum is what connects all of the ribs. So as you can see, you find where that is, you make a small incision, and you cut just a little bit. Not too deep because you do not want to hit the stomach. It's not a pleasant experience. And then you're going to get both of your fingers, put them in there, and start to pull. This will pull away from the stomach, and then you're going to use your knife and cut all the way down until you get to the end of the deer, basically, between its legs. From there, you're going to start cutting around the stomach and the intestines. Anything that is connecting it, you're going to cut that all out so you're done with the stomach and the intestines. What's separating the stomach and intestines is a membrane, and you're gonna start cutting through that membrane, and that is going to expose the liver, the heart, and the lungs. Start cutting around the liver, heart, and lungs, and anything that's connecting to it to loosen it up, but you will eventually have to cut out the esophagus and pull the lungs out. What you're gonna do is you're going to get the hand that you're not cutting with, reach up and try to feel a windpipe. It's going to be ribbed, and you're definitely gonna know it when you actually feel it and then you're gonna get your hand that you have the knife in, reach in real slowly so you do not cut yourself, be very careful, and then cut that windpipe, and then that'll allow you to pull the windpipe and the lungs, and it all should come out, probably the heart attached to it as well. Now you have all of the organs removed. What you still have to deal with though is the remaining intestines that are actually connected to the butthole itself. There's gonna be a bone over top of where you need to be cutting out the rest of like the butthole and intestines. So what you're going to do is you can either get underneath that bone with your knife and just work around it and get the rest of it out, but I find it a lot easier and you'll do a lot better job if you do this. Get the tip of your knife, put it right where the bone is, you'll clearly be able to see where the center is and start hitting on the back of your knife. What that's going to do is it's going to loosen it up, if not break it. If you did not break it, um, get both of the legs of the deer, put your boot under it and just put down, push down on the legs. That's going to probably, hopefully, break that bone and then you'll be able to work the rest of the intestines and get them out. So now you've gutted your deer. What I do recommend before you leave though is grabbing the head or the front hooves of your deer, lifting it up and that will flush all of the blood out so it's not sitting in the meat. 